Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a, some sparks to your animation. The animation that uh, the fire that we created in the previous video, we're going to add some sparks using a particle system. Let's get started, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the pause button here and open up the startup file. Don't save. Here's a startup file, I think. And we've got, we've got a, uh, if I hit play, uh, we've got the fire animated. That's cool. And when we did this in the previous video, not a big deal. We did these flames, we animated them with um, a, with the visual effects, um, wave distortion and glow. All right, cool. Let's add a particle system and let's add some sparks. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, go, I'm in object mode and I'm going to add a cube going to mesh and I'm gonna add a 3D cube to my scene. There it is. And I'm going to size it, hit S to size. About the size of that flame right here. And then I'm gonna move it right into that flame right about there. I'm going to size it a little bit. Well, I'm going to leave it like that. And so what I'm doing here is I am creating an object uh, from which the particles are going to emit from. And so the particles are going to emit from this object. If I hit play, you can still see the, the flames in there. That's okay. Now, Having this object, this 3D cube selected, I am going to add a particle system to it. So if we if we go up here, and this is the tab, it looks like uh, one little dot with three little dots shooting out of it, particle system. Um, and the way you add a particle system is you hit the little plus sign here, add, and there it is, it adds a, a, a particle system and when you hit play, you can see that the particles, there they are. Simple as that. The only thing that they're, they're wrong, they don't look like uh, sparks. They just look like balls coming out uh, from this place. All right, so let's uh, first address the size. We're going to go into viewport display and size them down. Right now they're at 0.1 meters. Let's size them down to 0 0.01. Oh, maybe just a little too small. 0 0.03. 0 0.02. There we go. That's the first issue. The second issue is that they're going down. Um, they're going down and we obviously don't want that. We want them to go up. And so let's address that. Um, they're going down because of gravity. So gravity, you can find it in the field weights. Here's gravity, and it's got a, a factor of one. Let's take away the gravity. There we go. That looks a lot better, but not really. They're going in the direction of the normal, which is not good. Let's address that. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to I'm going to turn on velocity, Just shooting through the normal. See normals. I'm going to uh, take this off by putting a zero, and now they're not shooting anywhere. They're just staying there, uh, and that's okay. We're going to make them travel up in the Z, and let's crank up. And there we go. Let's give them a little bit more, maybe 0.65. And now they're traveling up in the Z, but now the problem is that they're too uniform, right? They don't look like sparks. Oh, one thing I'd like to address is I'm gonna hide this box uh, down here in the viewport display, uh, viewport display show emitter, I'm gonna turn that off. 
so we don't see the emitter. Uh, now back to the velocity where they're going up, yes, the right, the right size, yes, but they don't look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize, I'm going to give them a random, uh, and that's way too much. All right, cool. 2.5, let's do maybe a 0.5. And so I like that already. Maybe it's just a little too much. Let's crank it down to about 0.3. And there we have the randomness. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> so it's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. Now um, I'd like to even, wh when you see a particle, it's just going straight up. I know they're random, but they're going straight. They're going at random directions, but they're going straight up. Just keep your eye on one particle and it's just traveling straight see this one boom straight so I like to randomize that and make them dance in the in the air and so for that let's go to physics and let's add a a brownian and what that means it's just a uh, randomization so I'm gonna add it and there, now they're, I'm gonna add it even more. And now they're going, now they're traveling. If you see one, now it's traveling at different locations or different directions. Uh, this might be a little too much. So the randomize here, I might bring it down a little bit. In fact, I'm going to take off the random because I like that better. Cool. Um, and now let's address, because I like the way they travel. I like the size. Now let's address how many of them. Let's go all the way up to the emission. And the number is 1,000. Let's uh, lower that down to about 250. Here we go. That's a lot better. Um, and now let's address how far they travel. They're traveling about this far. And I just want them to die a little bit sooner. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to take it down to 150. I like that better. And uh, the lifetime of the particle is 50 frames. I'm going to lower that to about, let's say, 20. See what that does. Just wait, let, boom, there it is. And now, I think it's a little too little. They're just dying right here. I want them to go up a little further. So maybe about 35 is the, is the sweet spot. Yeah, that's it. There's, there are the, there's the um, particles. They don't look like sparks. They just look like, you know, little bubbles or something uh, emitting from the fire. And so the next step is to make them look like sparks. Uh, and so I'm going to stop it here. We need to create another um, 3D object. But before I do, let me go ahead and save this. Um, so I'm going to create another add mesh cube there it is I am going to size it down a bit I am going to add a modifier and I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier effectively to turn it into a sphere I'm gonna add one more division here and then I'm going to apply hit zero and then I'm going to apply oops didn't mean to do that I'm gonna add it up again boom and then here apply it so there's no there's no modifier now it's just a sphere right click on it shade smooth so that it looks smooth I'm gonna put it uh, over here just so you can see it 
and then I am going to add a material to it. Add, and then new. And this material I'm going to call Spark. I'm going to give it a color of yellow with no specularity and the roughness at one. Just want to make it look smooth. And then I'm going to give it an emission. Remember, we did this with the glow um, video where we gave it an emission and it's actually emitting a light. So we're going to create that light and give it a uh, like a, a, a yellow color and then the strength, let's push it up. Um, so why am I not seeing that light, that glow? Let's go here to the uh, render properties and turn on bloom. Boom, there it is. I am going to uh, make this emission color a little redder and a little um, bigger. All right, cool. We've got our spark. This is essentially our spark. It's one tiny little spark that is glowing and it's emitting light. Uh, I am going to just put it down here for a minute. Go back to my emitter. In fact, let's call this emitter. I have the box selected, the cube. I'm just going to call this emitter. And this one, I'm going to call this one spark. Okay. So I'm going to click on the emitter. I'm going to hit play so we can see some sparks up here. Uh, and then in the um, particle properties, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to close velocity. I'm going to close physics. And I want to replace these little bubbles with this huge spark. And so we're going to do that here. <clears throat> render. So render as, and then click on it, and then object. We're going to render it as an object. And then what object are you wanting to render as? Here it is, instance object, click on the little eyedropper and then click on your spark and there they are. There they are. If I select this, I'm going to move it further down just so that it's out of the way. And then you can see now that these are now glowing and they're, they look like sparks. The only thing that we need to address is they're all the same size. And usually sparks are not like that. So let's go ahead and, and um, randomize this size. Again, I'm going to select my emitter, which is a cube. Go to the um, particle properties. And then I am going to go to render and then scale randomness. I am going to crank this up so that some are smaller than the others. And that's it. If I uh, click off of it, hit play, you can see that some are tiny, some are bigger than that. And that's it. That's all there is to it, guys. You've added um, some nice glowing sparks to the fire that we did in the previous video. And they should render. They should render. Let me go ahead and render an image. And there they are. Oops. The emitter is still there. That's the very last thing that we need to fix. So select the emitter. Go to the particle uh, system properties. And then render show emitter. Click that off. I'm going to hit play again, stop it, and then render just an image. And boom, there it is. 
we see the sparks they are they have that randomness we see the flames but there is no emitter and that's how you add sparks using a particle system there it is guys hey guys i hope that this has been useful and i hope that you like it if you like it go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you guys